Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 useful keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Windows 11 as well. Some of these shortcuts were available in other versions of Windows, but some of them are only available in Windows 11. So if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel for more great content like this. So let's begin with the keyboard shortcuts for this video. This is a keyboard shortcut that you can encounter in Windows 11, but I'm not really sure that it is that useful for all of you. So it is the Windows key plus W. It will open up the widget section. If some of you use the widget section for organizing stuff or for, I don't know, watching the news or the calendar or stuff, you can press Windows plus W to access this really quickly. And this section in the left side of the screen will come up really easily. To take a screenshot of your screen in Windows 11, you just have to press Windows plus Shift plus S and you will easily get the Snipping Tool app where you can draw a shape in order to have a snip out of your screen. And as you can see here, Snipping Tool, Snip Copy to clipboard, click here to mark up or end share the image. And after you click there, you can quickly resize it or you can do other stuff. You can draw on it if you want. And then you can go to these three dots and then click on save and save it where you want. For example, desktop and you will have it on your desktop. So you don't have to install any other third party apps. In Windows 11, you have this new snipping tool app, Windows Shift plus S in order to easily take a screenshot. If you want to access your clipboard history and uh, see what you copy in, in your clipboard and maybe have access to it because you forgot it, just press the Windows key plus V and the clipboard will appear. Of course, you're gonna have to turn it on first and then you're gonna see all the latest clipboard things that you copied here. And of course, you can clear all, you can click on them to copy them and stuff like that. So it's really, really useful if you are using a lot of uh, texts, if you copy things around. Don't forget Windows key plus V to access the clipboard history. An interesting shortcut would be Windows plus H. You can use this to talk instead of typing. So for example, let's search and then press Windows plus H on our keyboard. And now as you can see, Microsoft Speech Services voice typing turns your voice into text with Microsoft's online speech technologies. Select the mic button to start using voice typing. So I'm just going to select it. So basically after you click on this icon, you can easily speak and the Microsoft service will start typing in what you're speaking. I cannot demonstrate it to you right now because I'm on a virtual machine. So while recording, I cannot connect my microphone to the virtual machine at the same time, but you can test it out for yourself and see. And also you have this button where you can see a few settings that will um, help you in the future. If you're talking to someone and you want to have access to emojis really quickly, you can press the Windows key plus dot and you will have this section where you can select the most used emojis as you can see here, the laughing one and the so on and so forth and you can also have access to GIFs as you can see if you go down you can have also cow emojis symbols and stuff like that so I think this is really useful Windows key plus dot or period the next keyboard shortcut I'm sure that most of you know it already if you have a lot of windows opened up and you want to have access to your desktop just press Windows plus D and all the windows will be minimized to the taskbar and you will be able to easily have access to your desktop to your desktop files and then categorize them better you can use Windows plus L to lock your screen so no one can have access to it so if you have a password or a pin you will need to enter it in order to connect again or enter again into your operating system so i think that's really useful windows plus l and also windows plus tab allows you to switch between tabs or even desktops that's really useful if you want to snap windows side by side you can use the windows key plus right or left arrow to as you can see, place it in the left side and up or down if you want to place it in the corner. So Windows key plus right or left arrow or up and down to place it in the corners. And the last keyboard shortcut for this video is Windows plus A, which will bring up this new Windows 11 screen with these settings. We have the nightlight, the focus assist, the accessibility, the cast, and of course, network setting and so on and so forth. You can also customize them from here. So Windows plus A to quickly have access to these settings. So these were all the keyboard shortcuts for this video. I'm hoping that at least some of them will be useful to you. Let me know down below in the comments which of these you did know before watching this video. And of course, I can't wait to respond to you or hear from you in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel because we're going to make more videos like this in the near future if you like them. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.